Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Linux Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain about the two basic ca commands that we have in the Linux, which will be useful in order to access the file server or in order to do some operations in, like in order to do some operations in Mac or Linux environment. So those two commands are nothing but ls commands, which is a which will show the list of all files in a directory as well as the list of directories in a directory as well and also the other command is cd command so which is nothing but a change of directory that means uh, how you can change from one directory to the other directory will be given by the cd command so i am going to explain in detail about the different options that we have in both ls as well as the cd commands now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic Okay guys, so as I mentioned earlier, so in this video I am going to explain about a couple of uh, couple more commands in the Linux that we have. So those are nothing but the uh, most used commands. Those are the ls commands that is uh, list, uh, to view the list of files in the corresponding directory. As well as the one more command is cd command. So which is used to either enter into a directory or either coming out of the directory. So in order to like in order to coming out of the directory we are using cd command and in order to list out the files inside the directory we are using a linux command and also along with this major uh, linux ls command and cd command i am also explaining you about the various options that we have along with these two commands we have nearly at least a 5 to 10 commands 5 to 10 options for these two commands so that i am gonna explain in this video guys so for this uh, initially i am just querying it out the first command that is ls so what it ls means is it will just list out the whatever the files that is present in this corresponding directory so basically we are present in a like <coughs> sorry we present in a root directory so if we view ls so these are all the contents that is present here so we have it directory 1, directory 2, directory 3, directory 4 and directory 1 as well as directory 2 with a file 1 which have a content or which don't have a content and we have one more uh, directory known as hello world and uh, here these uh, you know if you want to check only the files then this is the option that you need to give so if you want to know about only the file content the all the file text files as well as the like directory files then you need to give just a ls option but if you want to know about the what are the contents present in the other directory then you need to give one more command known as ls space so if i want to search inside the directory one then i want to give it like directory one slash sorry so if you give it like this so what it means is it will pick up all the contents present inside the directory so directory 1 so we have file 1 file 2 and nested directory inside the directory 1 so these are all the contents present inside the directory but if you won't specify any such type of path then you will get the current directory path like uh, you will get the list of all the files and directories which are present in the current directory but if you want to know the contents in the nested directory from the root directory then what you need to do is ls space so the inside directory is directory one directory one slash nested directory. So I want to see the contents present inside the nested directory. So for that what I mentioned is ls space directory one slash nested directory. If I click enter, so these are the two files uh, like file one and file two present inside that. So these are the three major commands that we use normally. But now we have one more thing. So if you want to check out all the files in all the directories like uh, we have seen suppose uh, if you consider the directory one inside that we have file one file two nested directory but again inside the nested directory we have again file one and file two so all these files we are able to see only if you go inside that but if you want to directly see the contents of each inside the like the nested directories contents of the nested directories so for that what you need to give is ls space star so what it basically do is it will pick up all the contents suppose if you consider this like it will go through only one directory so file one is one file 
and inside the DRI DIR one we have file two and file three and DIR two we don't have any files and DIR three we don't have any files and DIR four we don't have any files. Again in the inside the DIR directory one we have file one file two and asset directory and inside the directory two we have a directory known as directory one and inside the hello world we don't have any files. So if you want to pick up all the nested files at a time, so if you want to see the contents of each directory, like what are all the directories present inside a single directory, then you can use just a ls space star. And we can also use ls space hyphen s to know the, about the sizes. So if you consider the day or one, the size, the total size is four. Similarly, because the content that is present in each and everything is same. Similarly for the DAR2 it is 4, similarly for file1 it is 0 and hello world it is 4, similarly the total size it is allocated is 24, 28. Similarly if you want to see about all the permissions of all the directories and the files then ls space hyphen l. So this is one of the most commonly used uh, syntax. So that is ls hyphen l what it means is it will show you about all the details like what is the file size, what is the directory configurations or what are the permissions that you have and who is the user and who is the owner and what are like when the it is created or when it is latestly modified and all and finally the name of the directory or the name of the file so if you want to know about all those information then you just need to give ls space hyphen l and one more thing if you want if you are having any hidden files over this and if you want to know about that like uh, what I mean is uh, if you want to want to see about the hidden files present in this particular directory what you need to give is the command ls space hyphen a so basically a will tell you about all the hidden files that are present inside this so basically if you give only ls you will able to see only directory 1 2 3 4 and directory 1 and directory 2 file 1 and hello world but if you consider this ls space hyphen a these are all the hidden files by default so this uh, when you give when you want to see all the hidden files and then the command that you need to give is ls space hyphen a and now if you want to check out the all the like the con the complete configuration of those hidden files as well as the existing files then for that the uh, command that you need to give is ls space a is for hidden showing the hidden files and l is for uh, like uh, displaying all the properties so if you want to show if you want to see both the details then you need to give is ls space hyphen al so in that case so previously if you give ls space hyphen l you got only these details but now along with these details you also got this many details with the dot uh, like dot double dot as well as uh, dot the bash history bash logout bash profile bash rc so if you want to see about the properties of those as well then you will get all this information and if you see the, pro the uh, like permissions here all the hidden files have the permissions almost all similar so these don't have any write access or read access for the people outside and this is for few files it is having a read access for all the people whether it is a group or owner or other whatever it may be and now there is a one more ls command that we have so we have all the folders here so if you want the all the files in a sorted order then the command that we need to use is ls space hyphen capital s so previously we have seen small s that is for sizes but capital s is for if you want to print the data in a sorted order so previously if you see ls this is the order that we got so as we know that d will come first before h and f and sim but h will come first before f previously if you just mention ls then these are the like uh, contents that it will display like file 1 will come ahead of hello world but if you consider ls space hyphen s hello world is coming before file 1 and this directory 1 directory 2 is yes, because it is starting with a alphabet d so it obviously will come first so without considering that if you consider just hello world and file 1 so you can observe the what is like whether it is sorted or not so these are all the various options that we have for the ls command like we have seen about how to view the complete properties of a file as well as uh, we have seen about uh, how to show the hidden files and we also seen about how to sort the contents present in the like uh, whether uh, how to sort the files or directories present in a <coughs> directory 
and we have seen also about uh, how to represent the sizes of a files and how to look out all the contents present in a in that particular directory and how to check out the contents of nested directories and how to open like how to see the contents of uh, other directories and also one thing i want to mention just like how we mentioned ls space directory 1 directory 1 so if you want to see the permissions of these contents from the root directory you can also mention ls space hyphen l directory 1 so that only these files will come uh, will get uh, all the permissions whatever it has and what are the permissions and all i will explain it later in the coming lectures like using some ch mod and all i will explain you later in the coming lectures but as of now just understand what are all the features that it is having like uh, this is the timestamp when it is created or when it is modified and this is uh, all about the size hex sizes or uh, it is something related to what are the, the total bytes allocated or something and this is for the owner and this is for the user and these are the file count i guess and this is what are uh, the actual permissions are so this is all about the ls command and as i mentioned we are going to discuss about one more command that is nothing but a cd command so cd is basically what i meant to, to do is suppose if you consider till now we have seen only about we are querying it out or uh, we are just uh, writing a command from the root directory but suppose if you want to write the command from uh, if you want to enter into the other directory then what you need to do is you need to write one more command one more thing known as cd command so which is used to enter into a directory so basically mkdir mkdir is used to create a directory and cd is basically used to enter into a directory and coming out of the directory so now i want to enter into dir1 directory so this is the uh, this is the syntax that you need to write cd space what are the directory that you want to enter and just enter <coughs> and now <coughs> if you observe here previously it was root directory now it was dir1 now if you mention ls you are able to see the file1 and file2 file2 and file3 and you couldn't be able to see any directory <coughs> similarly you can also go out uh, like come out of this particular directory you what uh, in order to come out what you need to do is you just need to write cd space dot dot what dot dot will represent it represent is it will just come out of only one directory out of this so if you do that just it will come to the root directory ls so in order to better understand you i am going to cd space directory one so if you consider this ls we have a nested directory again i want to go to nested directory ls so these are all the files present here so if you consider here nested directory is there but above that directory we have directory one and above that we have a root directory so what i want to do is if you give cd space dot dot it will just come out of one directory so basically the parent directory is the root directory so if you write only cd space dot dot it won't go to the root directory it will just go to the previous directory that is directory one similarly again i am going to the next directory and now if if i want to go directly from next directory to the root directory the only command that you need to enter is just a cd so directly automatically it went to the root directory but if you want to enter through like a uh, through command just if you mention just a cd then it will automatically come to the root directory if you but if you want to come out of some specific directories so for that what you need to do is ls so you for the cd space dot dot means coming out of one directory but actually we came inside the two directories so in order to come out of the other parent directory the other two dots you need to mention so if you write syntax like this like cd space dot dot slash dot dot then it will come out of the root directory so in previously we came inside two directories and now we came out of the two directories so this is all about uh, these two commands and similarly <coughs> now we have we know about uh, like inside the ls inside the root directory we have a directory known as directory one <coughs> and inside the directory one we have a one more directory known as nested directory so now i know the path so instead of going each directory at a time 
like uh, we can also go to direct uh, inner directories multi, uh, like directly in a single command so for that cd space directory1 slash nested directory if you give that so it will all directly go to the nested directory ls so if you give cd space dot dot it will just come to the directory1 and again cd space dot dot it will come to the root directory so this is how the flow will be like so basically ls will be used to list out all the files or directories present in a, uh, in that particular directory and cd is basically used to either enter into the directory or come out of the directory or enter into a multiple um, child directories or come out of the uh, like multiple parent directories so this is all about this video guys so thank you for watching